So it's an accomplishment of 18 months hard work. We would like to have these 11 trains in service by end of June. Now we're introducing the first Movia into the Indian market, which I uh, really believe is going to be a long adventure. It might have been grey and windy, but despite the bad weather, the day was very special. The first car of a brand new metro fleet took to the skies, winging its way south to the Indian capital, Delhi. The inaugural Movia metro vehicle travelled in style to its new home aboard an Antonov AN-124 cargo plane. It's the first of a 424-car fleet being built by Bombardier for customer Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. The corporation ordered the new Metro cars one and a half years ago in transactions valued at over 500 million euros. The fleet will be used on the second development stage of the Delhi Metro network, which covers a distance of around 125 kilometers. The whole fleet will be up and running by 2010, the year Delhi hosts the Commonwealth Games. The first 11 metro trains are due to be in service by the second half of June 2009. And in order to meet challenging project deadlines, the first vehicle was built in the extremely short period of just 18 months. Designing and constructing the Delhi Metro cars was truly a multi-site project for Bombardier. This uh, project is a project this project has literally been an international project. Ten Bombardier sites worldwide were involved, from Sweden to Germany to India. What's interesting is that we've been able to use very specific local expertise in the very countries where it's to be found. It wasn't just the design and construction of the first Delhi metro trains that were done on an international scale. So too were production and assembly. The first 36 cars were built in Görlitz in Germany. The remaining 388 Delhi metro vehicles will be manufactured at a newly opened Bombardier factory in Savli in the Indian federal state of Gujarat. With an investment valued at 33 million euros, this greenfield facility directly employs 750 workers and indirectly generates around 3,000 jobs in the region. The first Movia train set from Germany began track tests in March 2009 in Delhi. We have organized two planes uh, to, to start to do rotations and airship uh, up to eight cars. In total, it's going to be two trains. The cars uh, are going to, to be moved from the airport to uh, uh, DMRC depot, where they will be reassembled uh, as a train consists. And we are doing it because it allows us to have some quality time for, for the type testing of the train, which is uh, very important. And to guarantee smooth and seamless transitions, the type testing results from Delhi were fed back into the running production in Görlitz. To ensure that Bombardier's world-class standards and practices are maintained across the board, the workforce recruited in India received comprehensive training and support in Gurlitz.
By following the production line process there, the Indian workers were able to acquire all the necessary skills to duplicate the process at the Savli site. Back home, they're involved in training their Indian co-workers. And for many Indian workers, it wasn't just at work that they gathered new experiences. Far away from their home country, it was the first time they came across snow and freezing temperatures, something they quite enjoyed. But it wasn't just the Indian workers who had to adapt to a completely different climate and culture. The employees from Gurlitz, who provided training to their Indian colleagues, also went on a long journey. At the Indian site in Savli, they support the setup of the new production line. Ja, also ich bin jetzt hier sozusagen in der Anlagenphase mit tätig, speziell auch mit den unindischen Kollegen, die hier I'm training my Indian colleagues, who've come to Germany to learn about our production processes and to get all the necessary skills. Then I'll go to India for at least six months to support the setup there. The high-capacity Movia vehicles form an integral part of the Delhi metro expansion and will meet the anticipated increase in passengers of the Indian capital and its 14 million inhabitants. The trains are designed to comfortably accommodate some 1,500 passengers per four-car train unit. Air conditioning comes as standard for the comfort of passengers and the driver, as well as CCTV cameras and other special passenger information and safety systems. For above each doors, there will be a digital route map. You have all the station names and then you will have a LED display showing exactly where on the line you are. We will also have loudspeakers from the passenger information systems so that the drivers can announce messages and also tell that the doors are closing and, and, and so on. On the other side, we will have a passenger information speaker unit where the passenger, in case of emergency, can get in contact with the driver. It's expected that up to 4 million passengers per day will use the Bombardier Metro vehicles in Delhi, an environmentally friendly solution in itself. Every metro train will take away from the roads thousands of cars which are polluting. So I think the concept as such is environmentally friendly. But what makes the Movia vehicles even more special is that they are designed and constructed for optimum environmental operation. They're part of the innovative Bombardier Eco 4 portfolio, launched by the global rail leader in 2008. Advantages are lower energy consumption, minimal noise emissions, and recyclability of up to 90%. The vehicles are based on Bombardier's highly reliable Movia platform and made of stainless steel. They incorporate the award-winning MyTrack propulsion and control system and feature IP technologies. Leaving Bombardier's production site in Gurlitz, the first rail car for the Delhi Metro fleet received a proud and cheerful farewell. I wish you the first flight, all the good flight, and our customers much joy with the vehicle. I always wish the first train a safe journey and hope that our customer enjoys his experience with our product. I also have to thank all the people involved in the project for their dedication and commitment. I know very well what the last few weeks have been like. I was part of it. So, thanks again for your performance. The 22.5 metre long, 3.2 metre wide metro car, weighing a hefty 45 tonnes, was moved by special road transport to the Parchim airfield in Mecklenburg in northern Germany. There it was loaded onto an Antonov plane and readied for takeoff.